we're gonna go destroy 30 dungeons and get a legendary weapon. And we're gonna make it look good. To start, I don't have much. Basic sword, basic armor, basic bow. But a little secret I've learned along the way, you don't need weapons when you have coffee. You do need enemies to kill though. Enemies here can hurt me, but they're not really going to do much. Five enemies killed, one floor cleared. I don't love any of these items, so I'm just going to take an enchantment point. That'll make me stronger later. Okay, we're already dealing with these guys. I didn't expect them so early. Uh, as long as I deal with them fairly promptly, no problem. These guys have no idea how much coffee I've had. They have no chance at all. Still nothing great. Another enchantment point. I really feel like I might as well save up until I find something good because we're not exactly struggling now. Even if we were, I'd just go like this and pull them all back and start shooting them with arrows because they're kind of stupid that way. At least compared to me, and I'm obviously a super genius. There is a totem of a generation, and this one always works pretty good. Even in 10, 20 levels, it's still going to be good. So I'm going to take that for healing purposes. Plus, knowing I can heal just makes me wildly overconfident. So I'll do really stupid things that are going to get me into trouble. Uh, we have some snow creepers coming in. Uh, I have lots of arrows, so I'm pretty much just going to shoot them from a distance to be safe. We're going to stab him in the face. I'm probably going to need some better armor within the next five levels, because while things aren't hurting too bad yet, they will before long. I think I'm going to take some better armor right now. Um, we're going to do less damage, but there's a damage reduction plus a chance to negate damage altogether. So I'll just be a little bit safer and tougher again, plus the leveled up armor is going to give me more health. Here we've got some avoid touched blades, applies rising damage multiplier. I like the sound of that, plus it is leeching, so I'm actually going to give these a whirl. And then I'm going to give them leeching, so every time I defeat a mob, I get 5% of their health. Which might not be a ton, but that is going to add up to a little bit, and a little bit is certainly going to help. Now, the game was kind enough to give me some TNT, so I'm going to see where the enemies are going to spawn somewhat. Okay, they're really spread out. Well, one TNT for just you. That's worth it. Areas like this are where this build is really going to thrive so far, because I can just consistently attack things, and that's going to have my damage stacks. Okay, chance of shadow form on kills. I don't really know what that is, but this does have ricochet, accelerate, and growing. So this bow could actually be good. So for now, I'm going to put one point into ricochet. Then there's a chance that if I shoot someone, I'm going to shoot two people instead. I mostly just want to do a lot of damage so we can get this done very quickly because I'm very impatient, especially when I'm this caffeinated. I'm pretty much living in the future. Okay, I see how it works. So when I shoot someone, I have a chance of turning myself into shadow form like that. And I think I can ambush people out of that for big damage. So that's going to be a lot of fun, and that can also help me go invisible at times. So I basically accidentally built something pretty good so far. Now the choice, we're just going to take enchantment points. The more of those we have, the better the better items are going to be once we find them. We definitely don't need them yet, because for now this is really our old doing, and uh, there's no challenge here at all. I'd say that's because I'm good, but that would be a lie. Another enchantment point for me. Okay, so I do remember this level just because it was super annoying trying to cross these because the controls can be a little bit clunky here. Uh, lucky for us, I think we have different enemies to fight here. But I'm also going to be really stupid and try and bravely... Never mind. Why? That's basically what I get for being impatient. I think I'm also going to add uh, cowardice to my armor. Uh, because that's just going to give me extra damage when I'm at full health. And for like the bow and arrow, obviously that's going to be a big one. Uh, then for leeching, I could add double the amount of health. I think I'm just going to upgrade my bow a little bit more for more ricochet. That way it's a 60% chance to trigger. Nothing great here. Give us more enchantment points. So these things actually syner synergize fairly well. Because when I go into shadow form now, I'm going to do even more damage when I come out of it. Because if I'm at full health, I get the extra bonus. So... I don't think I was at full health there, but you get the idea. They work together quite nicely. I don't know what those windy guys are. I don't know if I've seen them before, but the ricochet is lots of fun. I expected it to get a little bit harder by now. The Gong of Weakening is pretty good for bosses. I think I'm actually going to take that. Though I'm pretty sure I'm going to forget to use it like I do for most of my things. I mean, I can get by just using my swords, my bow if I really want to. I can even ricochet all the way down there. Uh, plus I get the uh, leeching from that. And even if I do get into a big group of enemies, I do have a bit of an area attack with my final piece of my combination. Uh, these guys are going to die easy. Okay, let's come out of here and 160 damage. I wish the minimap would show me where the missing enemies were. I spend more time looking for them than I do actually fighting. Nothing great again. Give me more enchantment points. Okay, this level is going to be a little bit harder because we got these guys again. Luckily, I've got lots of arrows. And if I do need a bit of a break, I can go invisible. Uh, and that's obviously going to make me pretty well invincible also because nothing can see me. Okay, level's done. There was six enemies, all of which died immediately. I could do the wonderful wheat and summon a llama. 
No, we're gonna take enchantment points. Oh, this level looks like fun. Oh, do we get to fight you? Do you want a bomb? I don't know if we're fighting him. The uh, centipede didn't want to fight Enderman. Okay, yeah, we could do this. That's fine. <laughs> it's ricocheting between them. Uh-oh. Okay, I shouldn't stand in the fire. I should know this by now. I should stand in my healing, though. I forgot about the Gong of Weakening, too. Uh, I don't have a lot of, like, active heals. Oh, the gas is the only thing left. Uh, I think that's because I used my uh, Gong of Weakening. Oh, I died. Okay, that wasn't uh, because they, they defeated me. That's because I was being stupid. I need to be more careful. Okay, here's how we do that. The ghast shows up. We hit the Gong of Weakening and we absolutely destroy it. We don't get hit by that anymore. It's already dead. We throw that at you. We sit back here. Enderman didn't take a ton of damage, but it did take a little bit. So now we just sort our way through it. And you're dead. Hey, don't give me a legendary item or anything. Why would I want something like that? There is the same bow, but a lot better. And it has two enchantments. So maybe I'll take this one instead, because I really do like that bow so far. Uh, also, I'm on the merchant floor, but I bought him a bomb instead. So this might be an act of terrorism, but I don't really care. Give me a good price, or the next one is for you. Then I can guild one of my items. I guess I'm just going to go for my crossbow, because all the other items are probably going to be replaced soon. But it's now up to level uh, 29, and we can give it whatever we want. So we're going to upgrade it to do extra damage to distant targets. And then shooting them is going to also apply a damage multiplier. We don't have enough for the best version of that yet. Basically, the more I shoot things, the more damage I'm going to do, especially if they're far away. So we got little guys, big guys, bigger guys. That was 104 damage. And if I hit them multiple times, it would do even more. So I've got 284 arrows with their name on it, doing about 100 damage per shot, which uh, seems to be more than enough to kill most things because I'm hitting these guys for like 25 damage and they die. Tempted to take the rapier, but since we're getting by with the ranged weapon for now anyway, we might as well just collect enchantment points. Uh, because the bow and arrow really is just going to carry me for a while, obviously. I can even hit the things that I can't even see. Oh, look at that idiot. You're stuck in a fountain. Get out of there. Oh, and there's like a mini boss guy up. Never mind, he's dead. Okay, now things are starting to get a little more interesting because there's actually more enemies to fight. But still don't think we're going to have much of a problem. Really, it just depends on how seriously I'm going to take this. And so far, not very. I do wish this bow had uh, infinity or something like that. This is basically a better version of my armor, except it has a lot more health. Uh, so it's going to give me 130 extra health. That also freed up some enchantment points, so we can have a higher damage multiplier. Okay, we do have a big boy. Well, we had a big boy down there. We also killed him immediately. Yeah, this isn't going to be super hard considering we're just going invisible the whole time. Uh, here comes one of the big boys. Even from close range, three arrows annihilates him. But I can't help but wonder... <laughs> yeah, I can shoot them from over here, so <laughs> this makes it a little bit easier. I do somewhat need to conserve my arrows, though, so if I don't need to waste them, I shouldn't. Finally found my first legendary. If we had a soul build, that could actually be pretty good. It does have protection on top of it, too, so it's actually still a better version of my armor. But the only benefit would be extra souls, and I don't have a soul build anyway. In fact, I don't even have a soul. We're going to take a love medallion. I have no soul. <laughs> Hi, welcome. Please die so I can leave. Okay, it's these like windy priest guys, I think. Uh, they're able to blow me around, which is just annoying. It's not really super dangerous yet. It might be later. For now, I can just keep shooting things and, and one-shotting pretty much everything. Plus, I can turn myself into a pincushion and I just couldn't care less. Oh good, it's going to be a boss fight again. Probably should have upgraded my knives. Uh, how bad can we hurt you guys? Can I make friends with you? Can I heal you? I don't know what I'm doing anymore. Okay, uh, this... Okay, I remember this boss now. This isn't going to be a lot of fun. But I'm going to make them make friends with each other. I'm going to wait for you to show up because I can shoot you from over here. <laughs> Look at the big bites we're taking out of his health. And you're dead. Uh, now we just got to deal with the stragglers. They're dead. That was easy. A legendary bow? Uh, unfortunately, I don't actually think it's better than mine because it doesn't have any enchantments that I think would work. So we're going to go ahead and pass on that. We do have pretty good enchantments on this sword, though. Maybe it's time I upgrade that. Then I can actually defend myself if something gets close, because we're going to get critical hit and shockwave. Okay, there's also one of these idiots down here, but I think if we just sit here and spam arrows at him, he dies. This thing really does hit hard when the crits land, which is pretty often. Uh, I'm getting a little adventurous playing with my sword, but that's okay. Yeah, we're, uh, we're doing a lot of damage, whether it's with this sword or the bow. Like, we haven't really even had a chance to use a shockwave yet, so it's maybe a bad synergy on my part. Uh, either way, it feels like we're doing a lot of damage. And it's just really nice to be able to kill some of these annoying guys from far away. Like, way over there, there's those guys, and we can hit them for so much damage because they're so far away. 
Another legendary weapon. There's more of the twin blades that I do like, and they do have radiance, which might be pretty good. Uh, if this legendary had better options, I'd probably take it. I'm not actually a big fan of the broken saw blade so far. I might go back to this because it is radiance. So we're just going to do that because that'll help keep me alive. Plus it has refreshment. Defeating a mob reduces your health uh, potion's cooldown time. Not only does kill killing things physically heal me, it also uh, lets my potion heal me faster. So let's give this a try. Come here. Every time we hit an enemy, we get healed a little bit anyway. But if we use the potion, yeah, it'll help a little bit. It'd be better if we kill things a little quicker, but we're mostly a bow and arrow build anyway. Getting some stronger enemies coming in for sure. I think I can probably fight through these though. Actually, their knockback is super annoying. Okay, we're just going to spam them for a second uh, until we go invisible or just spam them until they die. Whatever. This is probably a bad level to try my experimental uh, powers. But we're okay now. As long as we get that guy to stop spawning in idiots, we'll be okay. Then more enchantment points which I put into reducing my potion cooldown, so the more things I kill, the even faster now do I get my potions back. This is the hilarious kind of level that likes to spawn in a thousand creepers at once, so I gotta watch out for that. Uh, also, I'm doing lots of damage again, but enemies are definitely getting stronger because I'm not one-shotting them anymore. Not much going on again, so we'll just take more upgrade points. That, uh, he can actually repel my arrows. So I'm glad I put him on my team because he's going to help me uh, wherever the enemies might spawn. These levels are definitely going to get a little trickier. Because they can use range and stuff against me as well, so I can't just stand anywhere anymore. Luckily they're stupid enough to get close to me. The creeper might blow up, but we're going to be okay. These ghosts are pretty annoying now. I think they're my new least favorite idiot to fight. I do have enough attack speed though that when my health gets low I just need to charge into a few ghosties and then I'm all healed up again. And I found the better version again of my armor, uh, but it's got more fun enchantments on it, so we're going to buy that. Even though I can't really afford much for enchantments yet. But I'm going to take Deflect for now, that only costs a point. We're going to take two levels of that. Now one in three arrows also don't hurt me. Plus this is a unique smith, so he can turn one of my weapons into its unique form. I wish I remembered kind of what they did. Uh, maybe I'll turn this into its unique form. Does that work? First shot won't break shadow form, so I can uh, do multiple shots from shadow form. Plus, it uh, went all the way up to level 50, so that's huge. And we're getting down to some of the final floors, so we should be getting a pretty good challenge at this point. You're going to be my friends. Uh, we're going to weaken you and put some healing down and then fight. Yeah, that could have been really, really dangerous. It still is kind of dangerous, but I'm going to do my best to heal my way through and get to big idiot there who's now dead. But the fun isn't over yet. We've got to keep fighting. Think that's under control? What's left to fight? I'm kind of scared. Okay, we're going to throw some TNT down there. You guys can share that. Never mind. Off it goes then. We'll just use a super bow and arrow. That double shadow shot thing is uh, really kind of powerful. Uh, not really anything great there. So I'm just going to take more enchantment points. We're on a boss floor. I do want to add some swift. So after killing an enemy, I get increased movement speed. But we got a boss to deal with. I don't think this is going to be too bad. So right away, I'm going to weaken them. I'm going to step back for a sec and shoot them. Uh, because if I'm far away, I do tons of damage. I don't even know what that thing is. Yeah, all I got to do is just be back here like this and I can just shoot them for big damage. I'm going to re-weaken them though. That way I can do some extra damage to them. Yeah, look at the big chunks we're taking there. That works much better. Floor 30 is cleared. So now we get all these cool rewards to choose from. So we go for the broadsword, which I think is actually pretty strong. Uh, those aren't bad enchantments. If I was a higher level, I'd get better enchantments, but these are all pretty good considering the level I'm at. So we'll take this broadsword. I already missed my bow though.